Hello, my name is Alex Rikovitsky, and I'm a second year graduate student in Professor Jeremiah Johnson's lab here in the chemistry department at MIT. And uh, before I uh, tell you about the, some of the exciting work I'm going in our lab, I'd like to thank the Deshpande Center for giving me a chance to do that. And uh, with that, I'll, I'll get started. And uh, what I'll tell you about today is a really important and difficult problem, which is attaching molecules to surfaces. And you've heard a lot, a lot of, of talks today, and some of them actually uh, have a lot to do with that problem. So for example, you've heard Paula Hammond's talk, where uh, you have a layer by layer assemblies as a way of functionalizing surfaces. And you've, uh, you've also heard Mark Azan's uh, talk, where you've, where you've had uh, 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 nanoparticles that have certain surface functionalization that allows them to attract oil. So uh, I'll tell you about today is our strategy for addressing this problem, which involves structures called addressable and heterocyclic carbenes, shown at the top right. And uh, the dream would be to, to attach these structures to surfaces and enable some really interesting functions, such as uh, some, some kind of uh, electronics, make some kind of electronic devices. So certainly, surface functionalization is a difficult problem, but it's also quite relevant. So some of the applications that, uh, that we're interested in are uh, gold-based electronics, solar cell technology, disease detection and treatment. And uh, what our ANHC anchors could provide is an inexpensive and solution-based way to modify surfaces of different kinds. So there are certain technologies that are available for certain kinds of specific surfaces, but there isn't a very general way to modify a variety of them. Um, also, they could provide an electrically conductive junction, which would be interesting for elect make electronic uh, components. Uh, they would, they're a, a useful handle for tuning surface properties and allow, would allow you to attach molecules very strongly to surfaces that could survive very harsh conditions. And finally, they would be complementary to a wide variety of other uh, techniques that you've heard about today, uh, for instance, and also uh, that are published in literature. So uh, you can see part of the quote at the top, but uh, like I, as I, as I, uh, what, what it says essentially is that God made the bulk and surfaces were invented by the devil. This is a quote by Wolfgang Pauli. And uh, what he was trying to say by that is that surfaces are, are really difficult to get a handle on. And we need to get a handle on them because uh, if we can do that, we can access a wide variety of interesting functions like this. Um, and uh, so to, to make a surface useful, to make it func you need to make it first stable, uh, stable to air, uh, stable to aggregation if you talk about nanoparticles. You need to some, have some kind of a function like charge transport, uh, energy harvesting, catalysis, to name a few. Um, tunability is important and uh, a well-defined composition so we understand what we actually have at the surface. And lastly, uh, patterning is quite important. And we think that ANHCs are, are, have great potential to, to address every one of these points. Now, what we focused on so far is uh, modifying gold uh, for, as one of the applications. And the dream here is to make wires uh, out of single molecules, uh, again, to enable applications like this. Uh, the, the issue we're here we're really targeting is, is the um, issue of, of eventual breakdown of Moore's law, which I'm sure the audience is well aware of, uh, says that about every two years you have doubling of a uh, number of transistors on a chip. And to, to allow that to happen, you have to have continual miniaturization of these, of these devices, of these transistors. So wouldn't it be great if we could make these devices that are on the size of molecules? And so uh, this is a cartoon representation of what, we're, of what we envision. And actually, we, we're, we've made some progress to making these kinds of wires that have these ANHCs on the two ends. And these ANHCs will provide a strong bond uh, that would be conductive and it would allow you to actually have uh, these useful electronic components. And this is an example of a molecule that, that we're synthesizing in lab. Uh, there are many other ones that we're looking at, and we're, we're about to actually look at the conductance properties of these, so we're really excited about that. So some of the progress we've made to date is uh, first, uh, in collaboration with Professor Toy Van Voorhis and his, and his student in his group, Mike Mavros, we've uh, actually done some theoretical calculations to, to figure out how strongly these structures bind to surfaces, and um, we, we found that they actually bind very strongly, uh, much stronger than thiols, for instance, which is a typ typically used for gold. And uh, then we've actually synthesized these structures and confirmed their binding to gold experimentally and uh, tuned some of, the, some of the surface properties by, by grafting polymers from, from these structures once they were attached. So, so we have now a handle that allows us to, to uh, tune surface properties very easily. And 
it's really powerful. As you can see, we can make these interesting uh, structures that emanate from surfaces. You can, if you look at them through an through a atomic force microscope, you can actually see these cone-like features that represent polymers that have been grown from the surface. And so we've uh, filed a provisional patent, uh, and uh, we have a manuscript in revision that uh, describes this work. And in the next 12 months, we, we plan to do a number of things. We, we're going to begin with looking at uh, conductance measurements, so uh, again, targeting this, uh, uh, making molecular wires. Um, we're going to expand the scope of this to other surfaces, so we have strong hopes, that, strong indications that actually it will work for a wide variety of surfaces like silicon and uh, graphitic materials, a wide variety of surfaces. And uh, we're also looking at attachment in ambient conditions to allow this technique to be very, uh, very useful um, and, and uh, you know, inexpensive. And then lastly, we're going to make devices, actually. And so while this is, we're sort of at an early stage where we, we, we're not really exactly sure which device we're going to focus on, but uh, there are a, a number of good candidates like sensors and organic photovoltaics. And so in, in maybe two, two years or so, we should have a marketable product. And so, I'd, again, I'd like to thank uh, the Johnson Group and our collaborators in the, the Responde Center for funding. <laughs>